Hello all, and welcome back. It's a great day to be alive, and it's also a great day to play Cookie Clicker. Uh, we all remember this game, right? For me personally, it was back in back in the sixth grade. So you can do the math, perhaps, on how old I am off of that information. Regardless, I noticed that it was on Steam, and I wanted to give it a try. So that's what we're doing today. Cool Biscuits Bakery apparently is my name, and that's the name that it'll stay. Heralds. Oh, interesting. So people who are online actually boost cookies per second, which is interesting if there's people playing and apparently there's enough people playing. Well, I also do have an auto clicker on. I'm not going to give myself carpal tunnel uh, playing this game. I'm just going to play it and see as far as I can get. So uh, yeah, here we go. Get a few cursors here. Might as well get some upgrades, a whole bunch of achievements. Thank you, game. I really want those. I, will, I want all of the 500 and something achievements in this game. I think that's my goal. The mouse and cursors are twice as efficient. Uh, definitely worth for 100, especially because I'm using an auto clicker. All right, we're already getting two per click. Look, the cookies at the top can't even spawn fast enough. I'm clicking so fast. Let's get more cursors. Absolutely, 13. I'm gonna break the game with how many uh, how many achievements we're getting at the same time. There we go. The mouse and cursors are twice as efficient. I think that's definitely worth it. Anyway, I just got back from work. Work. I uh, I needed a little change. I just needed to do something kind of relaxing and something kind of fun too. And I figure why not revisit a game that has a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people, including myself. Uh, we want more cursors. Why not? Yeah, the workday wasn't bad at all, but I, I got back and I I took a shower, I did some of my laundry, and I wanted to record something because I have some free time. Cookie Clicker was the one I chose. This is going to be a more relaxed series. Just the talk. Cook cookies. Cook? No. Click cookies and get those big upgrades. I think buying a farm is probably worth the money. Oh yeah. Give me, it gave me eight. I had 10 before, so gonna buy all those up. A little bit of clicking later. Gonna get some grandmas. Uh, grandmas are twice as efficient. Throw that in there. And suddenly after a few more farms, we're already at 62 cookies per second. Not bad at all. Let's see, what do we have for upgrades? 5,000, yeah, let's get to 5,000. Get some double efficiency grandmas. Sounds worthwhile. And there we go, we captured that bag. Maybe we can try next to get grandmas to 25 because then I can get another upgrade. Oh, oh, double cookie or double golden cookie. It wasn't the good one though. We want the one that makes you get more cookies per click. All right, let's see how much 8,000 cookies gets you for grandmas, 19 grandmas. I remember distinctly playing this game in my sixth grade English class. I pretty sure that's what it was. In that class, we played, at least when the teacher wasn't looking, Cookie Clicker. And it was so popular at the time that the school had to ban Cookie Clicker uh, for a while. Or basically, they blocked it on the internet. And everyone was outraged. But these things you forget about quite quickly once they you can't easily access them anymore. And sometimes in life, they make a reappearance. All right. We're at 10,000 cookies. The mouse and cursors are twice as efficient. I think that's definitely worthwhile. That doubles our clicking rate. We're gonna buy up some more farms. So with our, again, 10,000 cookies that I've made, I think I'm gonna buy as many cursors as I can. All right, up to 36 and let's continue. It's very weird today because normally I record with my headphones on, but I figure this game doesn't really require you to hear other than a little bit of music which I can have playing softly in the speaker in front of me so I can just truly relax not have to worry about hearing anything or getting headphone hair for those of you who understand and use headphones very often I'm not trying to look like Tyler one we're gonna save up for another mine it's probably gonna be worthwhile based on how much it gives us per second there we go that was another 30 or so. I'm so baked right now. Thank you. Um, we're also going to get another farm upgrade because, well, we don't have that many farms, honestly. Maybe we buy a bunch of farms and then the next thing we buy is a farm upgrade. How about that? I'll see you when that happens. And in no time at all, we have finally have enough for cheap hose. 
Let's see how much farms they're making for us. 44%. Not bad. What's doing the most? I guess the farms are doing the most, so maybe we should prioritize getting more farms. With more cookies means more upgrades, and frankly, farms are the way I want to go. I do notice that when I don't wear headphones, I feel a lot louder, and it makes me kind of want to whisper. I mean, I am putting on a bit of a whisper just for the relaxed vibe, but I don't want to be quiet. I want to be nice and loud. A little bit of ASMR. I don't have a proper mic for that though. Okay, let's get 50 cursors. I think that's our next goal. Even if they don't make us the most of our percentage, I do want 50 cursors because they will give me a click upgrade, which will basically increase my cookie production a lot in theory. 50,000 for that. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I think we're close enough to save up for that 1% per click. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, look at what we have. Oh, baby. That's big. Buy as many upgrades as I can. All right, we got to move fast. Ooh, that's big. That's major upgrade. All right, we got to keep, keep this going. Buy as many mines as we can. Um, buy a lot of farms. Those are the ones that were making us the most money before. They probably still are. Here we go. We're about halfway through our uh, golden cookie. Uh, yep, whatever that says, buy it. Buy more farms. Go back. All right, we're gonna let it ride. We're gonna keep, we're gonna let it click so we can get a uh, factory. That's big though, that's really big. That was the one we wanted originally. And just like that, it's over. Let's see, okay. Well, we want the factory. We want a second factory. That did 31% in two upgrades. That's a, quite a number. Clickers aren't doing a lot, but we can get it to 50. So we can get more per click in theory. I think that's probably going to be worth it. All right, we are done with the cursors for now though. We're probably gonna shift to grandmas, trying to get them to, uh, them to 50 grandmas because I know they synergize with a lot of other things, which will overall produce increase our production in a lot of different areas. The mouse and cursor gain plus one, plus 0.1 cookies for each non-cursor building owned. That seems worthwhile. Throw in mines twice as efficient, although it did quite little. All right, 100,000, we're going to dump that right into grandma. 100,000 cookies again, we're dumping into the mines. There's something very satisfying about a game like this where you see this number slowly get higher and higher. And really it was, cookie cooker who started this whole whole genre we will buy a factory suddenly it gets easier and easier to get back to 100,000 and then I want to get to 500,000 and a million in due time but it's about the journey not the destination let's evaluate we're trying to see which one produces the most for us farms by far seem to be still the highest we'll get grandmas to 50 and then we will buy more farms we need five grandmas so that means we need at least 300,000 cookies, I imagine. Ooh, looks like we needed about 400,000 for those grandmas. Ah, uh, yes. Finally time for the 50th grandma and my army of 50. Oh, you, they actually have ages and names. Well, that I did not know. But now that we have 50 grandmas, what did we receive? probably that upgrade, which is way too expensive at the moment. I think we end today when we hit our first million cookies. I think that's a good goal to hit. Slowly but surely we use all of our resources, all of our eggs and flour and chocolate chips to make more cookies. More cookies than we could ever need, but all the cookies that we want. Speaking of having enough cookies, we now have enough cookies for farms to be twice as efficient. And just like that, I think what was 4,100 4, jumps to 5,220. 46% of our total CPS in farms alone. I think it would be silly not to upgrade more farms since they are providing oh so much for us. 31 farms now. All I can hope for is that my grandmas do not rise up against me as I am using their labor to make millions upon millions of cookie dollars. All I can do to satiate them is to pay their wage of cookies every single day. 
for which they get one cookie while I get millions and thousands of cookies. It's only the fairest thing to avoid getting more philosophical. Let's go over to our upgrades and consider what our options are. The Mega Drill does not seem worthwhile at the moment. Grandma does not seem worthwhile. It feels like we are shoehorned to continue buying farms as it is our most profitable venture. We cannot run a nation without great farms. The Cool Biscuits Bakery Army shall continue to rise in strength and continue to dominate the cookie market until there is no other competitors. That is my one goal. A friend messages me and says that he loves Cookie Clicker and I couldn't agree more. I bet they wonder, why is he playing Cookie Clicker? And that's a great question. Why would someone play Cookie Clicker, cookie clicker at a time like this? And sometimes you don't need a reason. Sometimes it's best just to do. Perhaps we should diversify our operation by adding more miners, as we do have an upgrade and the price for mines are quite cheap. I wonder if there are upgrades for cursors at 75. The price is cheap enough for me to consider this. What's this? Grandma lights up in the corner and I become interested. Mines gain plus 1% CPS per two grandmas. We will try upgrading a bunch of cursors first. It's more out of curiosity than anything else. Kings and queens from all over the world are enjoying your cookies. I cannot wait until I can finally get my chance at their thrones. Ooh, a golden cookie for 27,000. We buy even more farms. 40 in total just to make sure our people are fed with 97 a click we move to the mines once again as we need more chocolate chips to fuel our production 99.2 soon we will be at 100 clicks and all will be well as i sit here and ponder i wish for another golden cookie to arise as this will make a great asset to our business. Instead of sitting here clicking endlessly for hours and hours, it makes hours of work suddenly appear in your lap. It's like when a, when a golden cookie appears, God comes down and answers me and tells me that I am doing the right thing by making cookies for everyone. That cool biscuit bakery is not just some sham. We rise, grandma says at top. That's right, grandma, we do rise. More efficient grandmas sounds like a good idea to me. Grandmas are suddenly becoming very profitable. We have far surpassed our 100, click, 100 cookies per second per click. We are now at 116, uh, well, no, 111.6. Very different number. Efficiency of the mines, absolutely. As this achievement would indicate, we have surpassed 10,000 cookies per second. No small feat made by no small company. Cool Biscuits Bakery shall continue to live on in the Lord's great name. As we inch closer and closer to 1 million, I want to keep upgrading so this time does not have to end. And to do that, we must upgrade mines. More mines. More production. We want to seize the means of production so we have the strict we have a strong monopoly over our competitors. There are no laws in this land. Only us. We are in control. With 144 cookies per click and 12,443 cookies per second, we run this world. We are the industrial capital of cookies. I desperately try to avoid the number with one M in it, as I do not want this day to end, only because I know that these days will be remembered as great victories as small but great victories of nostalgia that will be once lost when we get too old to remember them. When the numbers mean nothing, we have far too many cookies and way too many of them at a single time. I want to cherish these memories. I want to cherish my first workers because you cannot turn back time, although you can, technically, but let's not. Let's pretend like that doesn't exist. Let's pretend like we can't turn back time and we can't relive these memories because we are only living in the moment and we cannot define ourselves by our past. We must live in the present and look towards a better future. A future with more factories, which might cause, I don't know, some type of global warming or something, but don't worry about that. 
just live in the moment. I don't remember the economics guy who says, leave the problems for another generation, but his words mean a lot to me. I'm basically the Warren Buffett of cookies, okay? The golden cookie. Oh no. This throws everything, all my plans into a, into a, I can't even speak words. Ah, uh, I gotta make sure not to surpass that number. Anything to surpass that number. I must be careful. Keep a close eye on it. Upgrade everything and anything before it gets there. This is dangerous territory. We must continue. Oh God. Be careful. Be very careful. Go, 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 go. Okay, I don't know if I made it. I don't know if I made that one. Continue, continue. More cookies. Get everything. Get everything. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to surpass it on accident. And therefore the video will have to end if that's the case. But I want to make sure. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing. I got to get every last worth of this while it's still here. Careful. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. Okay. I don't know what I upgraded during all that time. I just chose random things to upgrade as I wanted to stay within my parameters. But I think we'll have to let this one ride out. It was good fun. It truly was. But we can't live in the past forever. For we must live. We must live to be in the future.